hello hello beautiful gemini um so i'm here to do your reading and i have your scrying channeled messages that i scried for you on november the 4th and it's november the 6th now not that it matters but i'm here sitting in your space and your energy shifted for me like this so fast and i'm going do these messages not apply i don't understand what just happened what's going on and then I started to, you know, sit, gather your cards because I'm still, you know, strong headed. And I'm like, no, I'm going to channel what I scribed for them, right? And then you started to show me your energy and you were opening and closing a doorway. Um, you were the, it's like you were watching this energy. You were like this watcher frequency, watching an energy that you keep looking at, opening, closing the door on, watching an energy in a room that hasn't changed. When everything else has changed it, there's an, when, when everything else, excuse me, has changed, there's an energy that hasn't. And it, it's almost like shocking because it just kind of happened. Like, what? why how when excuse me what why hasn't this changed yeah there's you the watcher hold on okay you're in a, you're in a new area There it is. How many cards do I have? I want nine. I want nine. I'm going to do a spread with this. This energy fell into darkness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have eleven. Okay. Why did I want nine? Endings. I also, okay, so I wrote here number 61. You have here 61. I wrote here 61. I also wrote 8, 24, 61, 628, June 1st, June 28th. I don't even know if any of this is is needed i don't know hearing something is assembling sorry gemini i paused i stopped the reading by accident um i heard something is assembling on june on june on november the 4th something is assembling okay your uh, i feel like you're in this new energy okay I feel like you're in this new energy where you're gathering, um, there's a lot, uh, there, there's almost like, oh my god, there's so much, I, this is why I like to do scrying messages <laughs> and like prepare myself, this is, maybe this is how you're feeling, like a little bit unpreparedness when you've been preparing, but this is what I saw, you as the watcher and you kept closing and opening the door checking in on this energy in a room that hasn't changed it hasn't changed and you're wondering why hasn't it changed and i, I i'm feeling here that it fell into darkness and energy fell into darkness you have like all these energies that are gathered around and as they gather around, they gather this new power in, in, in the lay of the land, in your new land, in your new energy that you have like taken over because you've taken over a new space. Resonance 61. I wrote here 61. You're resonating in a new vibration, in a new fre frequency. You also have here the cosmic womb. You're adapting to your new resonance, okay? There's a lot of energies that you are adapting to, that you are feeling come through the door. I always get this energy in your space. Remember we did this reading for you and I was like, is someone coming through the door? Are they, they going to come through the door? And then for some of you, they have. For some of you, they didn't. 
but you're adapting to the energies that have come through the door. You're adapting to the energies that have assembled. The energies are assembling into the cosmic womb. They're all gathering around in the cosmic womb and being rebirthed into your new lay of the land, into your new energy, and you're adapting to them on a on a on a physical level not just on a metaphysical level because this may feel like a metaphysical level that you're on a new land you're in new vibrations you're in new dimensions you're in new areas that you haven't explored yet metaphysically spiritually but those energies metaphysically and spiritually that you have evolved they're they've evolved the energies in your reality so you're you're feeling the adaptation the the formation of energies that you have metaphysically changed that have changed with you that have that have adapted with you so you may be noticing your work is different your friends are different or you may be having new friends maybe love is different i don't know but there's like one energy that didn't adapt so this may be a work environment okay so something changed something some a lot everything changed but one thing didn't this could be a friend a, a work environment a work situation your finances a lover a person i don't know maybe it's an energy inside of you that that hasn't changed that energy fell into darkness fool's embrace transmuting pain it fell into darkness i'm getting this energy like i don't know if this is something that you experienced but when you were young or maybe as a teenager i don't know but it's like i'm seeing children playing i'm seeing them having fun and they're all running around and i'm seeing a kid trip up and their shoes on their shoes untied and they're like wait for me I'm, i need to tie my shoes wait for me and then you get the sudden anxiety that everyone's leaving you because you have to tie your shoe when no one waited for you no one waited for you so you just like this energy this energy fell into darkness it it it, it just it fell It, it either fell into fear, fell into worry, fell into anxiety, fell into, I don't know, but it, it fell into darkness. It just, it fell. I, I keep seeing that. It fell and it's stuck. It's stuck between worlds. It's stuck between the, I don't know what that between is called, but it's stuck between the underworld and, and the middle world. It's stuck there. You're in this new divine matrix. You're in a new energy. You're in a new dimension, the divine matrix. And this energy is stuck in between worlds. I don't know what this energy is for you. It's going to be different for all of you. But I feel like some of you definitely know what it is. I won't know because there's so many people out there, but you know, you know what this is. Could be your finances, your work, your work environment, your friend, a lover, or an energy inside of you, an energy. I'm going to go right into the tarot to get some more information on this. I I had I had one scry message for you and now it's something completely different. I don't know if you were moving in an energy having a plan, being prepared and then it just like wait, what? Like why didn't this change? I'm seeing the number 646 in your space, 646. You're being asked to surrender. There's a lot of there's a lot of power here. There's a lot of energies that have shifted. They're all gathering around. The 
this one energy fell into darkness. If it's an energy inside of you, you feel it. This energy inside of you succumbed to fear. Or it's almost like I'm seeing like an angel. I'm seeing like an angel flying. And then I'm seeing like cuffs on the angel's feet. And then it just brings the angel back down. I don't know why. You hear the elk at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, wow, eight of cups underneath that. The elk and the eight of cups. This could be a father wound for some of you. Why do I feel like this is a repetition? Why do I feel like we did something similar for you? Not I don't know, six months, nine months ago? I don't know, a year ago? And it's, it's interesting. I wrote here for you, fear of repetition, so you block yourself from getting into something new. But I don't know if that applies anymore because it, it, your energy shifted. It's, it's almost like you got into something new, but something stayed behind in fear. Does that make sense? Like, some, like, you got into something new. Elk, your power. Okay, this is your power, your fortitude to persevere, your fortitude to push through. You're strong in your energy, in your connection with spirit. You're strong in your fire. You're strong in your spirituality. And you're strong in your practicality. You changed. You know you changed. You pushed through. You walked away from things that didn't fulfill you. You didn't stop to look at the broken glass. You kept moving. You kept moving. You didn't stop to look behind you. But there's an energy here that fell behind. There's an energy here that, that fell. It's almost like you feared this happening. Like, because I, I had this energy with you that, like, you, you, you had fear of, of getting into something new because you were afraid of repeating a lesson. But your energy sh seemed to shift me because there's no coincidences or, or I do readings when I'm guided to do them. Your energy changed since the 4th of, of November to the 6th of no November. Your energy changed in two days. You decided to move into an energy in the span of those two days that I did your channeled messages on the 4th. But like one energy succumbed to fear and it was almost like, damn it, like I, I feared this happening. I feel like you feel you feel the fear, but it's not connected to your entire self. It's connected to an energy, like one energy. It's connected to one energy that that didn't go with you. But you didn't pause to look behind you, the elk and the eight of cups. You didn't pause to look behind you, but you but you you've been You've been curious about it. You've been curious about like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If everything else changed, if I declared I'm moving into this new energy, which I am in now, why isn't, why didn't that change? Why didn't this change? So that's why you keep opening and closing the door because you're looking, you, you've noticed it, you've noticed, you've noticed it. Yeah, you, you feel it, the mother of cups, your intuition, you hear the mother and the father. Divine feminine mother of cups here, divine feminine cosmic womb, this energy went back into the womb. This energy went back. Wow, you have here strength. Leo energy. 
Yeah, sea serpent. There's the, this energy one is. It's like this energy went back in, in a spin cycle. Like this energy went back into the into the into the wash. Is is the is is exactly what I saw when this came out. It's like you took the laundry out, you you put everything in the dryer, you hung up all the clothes, they're all clean, and then you look at one of them, and one of them, is that a stain still on it? What the fuck? So you put it back in the laundry room. So annoying. I hate that when that happens. But you put it back into the into the spin cycle. You put it back into the into the laundry, into the washer. This energy went back in. This energy went back into the cosmic womb. I don't know why. Something was still like attached to it. A fear. Something, something, I don't know, clung on to it. Seven of Swords. You have here forgiveness. I'm sorry, uh, repairing the veil, but I'm not ready to talk about the veil just yet. I'm not ready to talk about that yet. You have here the seven of swords and the whale, and here you have the world and the elephant. This is self deception. Self-deception, this could be lies. This could be an energy of the past here with the whale because the, the whale is like this ancient past energy, this depth. Something that's been with you, with this energy, with this energy for a long time. If this is a person... If for some of you, if this is a person, this person has had like this energy of like lying to themselves for a very long time. Like they've, they've had an energy of lying to themselves. That's what I'm getting here with the seven of, seven of swords. It's like putting it through the, the wash to, purif to pur purify it, excuse me, for purity. This card says transmuting pain. That's why someone lied to themselves. It's like lying to yourself that you're okay when you're not okay, you're still in pain. Lying to yourself that you're happy when you're not happy. Lying to yourself that you're okay when you're not okay. But I'll just, I'm just going to move into my new beginning anyway because everything else seems fine. It's just this one thing. Everything else is fine. It's just this one thing. It, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Some of you lie to yourself. about this one thing in your life a job that you were happy at when you weren't a relationship that you're happy in when you're not a connection that you are in on and off you're happy holding space for them but you're not I feel good about my traumas. I feel good about my wounds. They're healed when they're not. Some of you are lying to yourself about something. I'm sorry if I'm triggering a lot of people right now, but this is the truth. This is the truth. And your soul wants you to see it. This energy is trapped in darkness right now. It's trapped in the in-between. It'll eventually make its way into the cosmic womb. It'll assemble in the in the womb it'll restructure it'll 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 get repaired thank you spirit it'll get repaired it'll get repaired in the veil of the cosmic womb before it is rebirthed into your resonance a vibration that you're adapting to in this new energy but it's not there yet and you lie to yourself about it saying that it's ready when it wasn't
give here the lovers, but it came up in the reverse. Some of you may have made a decision, a hasty decision. Some of you, you created something that was out of alignment of what you, uh, what you actually wanted. Some of you might have said yes to something when you should have said no. Some of you might have gone into, into a, a relationship when you should have said no. Some of you took someone back when you should have said no. Some of you are still thinking about that person that said no when, when, when you said that they're a yes in opposition of what your spirit team and when, what your heart is telling you. Oh, Gemini, these are a lot of truths. These are a lot of truths that are unsettling. But the thing is, is that when you step into, you stepped into an energy. You stepped into new land. You stepped into a new cycle. You stepped into a new be begin new beginning. That's not the lie here. Some of you, you may have stepped into it too quickly. Some of you, you have stepped into it taking someone with you when you shouldn't have. Some of you, you, a part of you, a part of yourself here, you lied about was ready when it wasn't. Your heart is hurting. This energy is in the darkness. This energy is hurting. Because it wants to be where you are. You, you're, you are in a new energy. You're there. You, you did the work. I'm not saying that you did not do the work. I'm not saying that you what you did is not. It, it's beautiful what you have accomplished. What you have done. But there's one energy that you notice. You're the one who showed me the opening and closing door. That you noticed is not changing. It has not changed. And I'm sitting here, well, why hasn't that changed? And spirit's saying, well, because of untruths, self-deception, of lies. I know that's not easy to hear. But this is the message for this group, whoever is resonating with this, whoever didn't click off yet. This is about you being honest with yourself because there's an energy here in your life that's hurting from these lies. It's hurting. Because we t we're, it's, it's like convincing yourself. You convinced yourself of something that was out of alignment of your heart's true desire. That's what it really comes down to in whatever area in your life. Love, work, this could be just healing i don't know i don't know you ever hear the swan lovers <laughs> again soulmate energy love and the lovers you ever hear the butterfly i think yeah transformation wow two of cups okay we'll get into your love reading in just a moment here yeah, earthworm, this energy, what I want to say is like this energy is transcending. Okay, this energy is, is, is connecting. It's working really hard. Okay, it's working really hard to find its way back to you and where all the other energies have gathered in, in that new resonance, in that new divine matrix, in that new vibration, new frequency that you're in. Okay. I, I want to say like find the lie, find the truth. The energy in your life that you keep looking at, that you keep watching for, that isn't changing, is because there's an untruth tethered to it. There's an untruth that is tethered to it, and it's in pain because of it. But you find it, you be honest with yourself, okay? You have here the world here, that cycle will close. 
You have here the elephant with the fire. This is burnishing, burnishing the tethers, burnishing the the the, the pain that is tethered to that, the untruths that are, that are tethered to that energy. It's going to free this energy here with the dragonfly spirit. Okay, this is self-realization that you're going to come into that's associated with this energy. This energy will unearth itself, okay, and transform. Okay, it'll transmute, it'll transform, and it'll connect. Three of Pentacles, connect to where you are in the same resonance, okay? It'll connect. It'll find its way to the cosmic womb and assemble, repaired. It's being, it's like, it's, it's, it's disassembling and then it's assembling. So the, the lies are coming apart, the truth is being revealed, and then it's assembling back together and being rebirthed into your new where you are okay um and here you have the two of cups and the sun in the reverse so let's get into this love let's get into this love and i'm gonna keep this out here with the two of cups let's see what this is beautiful gemini For, because for some of you, this could be a person, okay? This is a love of yours that maybe um, is assembling, is getting their shit together. Let's see. Because I said here that some of... Some of your your energies are coming through as unconsidered options something is now a considered option when it wasn't a considered option in the past someone here either got their shit together let me see what the cards say because I'm, I'm leaning on two different ways so some of you may resonate with this differently, but let me see what comes through, what wants to come through. You have here flirt. I don't even know if I want to use these cards. Hold on. Separation. I think I'm just going to go to the tarot. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a given. You know you're lovable. Chemistry. What card do I want to go for your love? I want an oracle. You know what? Let me go to these. Not really feeling though. See, I'm telling your energy keeps shifting. I got that deck out when I thought I was gonna read your scrying messages from November 4th. I saw here your energy changed. I picked up that deck. Not really feeling those cards. Because something changed. Something changed. Some of you are changing your mind about a lover. Some of you, you need to be really honest with yourself. Is this the person that you want to invest your energies with? Why are you waiting on the other person to make a decision that you can make for yourself? I'm going to trigger a lot of people with this reading. I know. And I'm, I'm doing it in a loving way. Wow, you have your storm. Contact. This person may contact you. But they're coming in like a storm. Not a good storm either. Wow, you have a lot of purple. There's a lot going on in their crown chakra. There's a lot going on in their in their in their crown. Look at all the purple. Sorry, let me hold this up. I think that's the crown chakra, if I'm not mistaken. Let me Google that so I don't get people air punching me in the face. Um, I'm pretty sure it's purple. Purple? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so it is the purple. There's a lot going on in their crown. There's a lot going on in their headspace. Give here star seed, storm, divinity, and violet flame. 
This person has gone through a lot. This person is going through a lot. They're going through an internal storm. They may be finding out who they are here with Starseed. They may be feeling a connection with the divine. They may be feeling this healing energy. I feel like there's a lot of energies. It's interesting because I, I said they're coming in like a storm, but it's not like a good storm because they may be, they may be emotionally dumping on you. This person may may be emotionally dumping on you or like dumping what what they're what they're going on in their mind and they're dumping it on you. You may be in separation with this person. I do see that this connection was very lighthearted. There is a reason why I went to this deck, I guess, but um this connection was lighthearted. This connection was freeing. This connection was like liberating to some degree and then you guys separated you guys disconnected somehow maybe even emotionally and then it started to get really quite chaotic here with the storm remember what i said in the first half of your reading like you have changed okay however you resonate with the first part of the reading it could have been it could be you it could be your work your um your it could be a lover okay for some of you that's connecting with the first portion of the reading that it's a lover okay that it's a partner of yours a connection of yours they fell into darkness you kept opening and closing the door Okay, you're in separation, but you checked in on them, in on them, maybe energetically, telepathically from time to time. That's you opening and closing the door, checking in on them in the room. How are they doing? Oh my God, there's still a fucking storm. They're still going through it. And I feel like you shut the door, you're separated for a reason because the storm shouldn't touch you. Their storm should not... It should not touch your energy because it's unhealthy to emotionally dump on someone like that. Imagine if you were going through your shadow work or your healing and you dumped that on someone. I would probably cause someone to go into a, a mental asylum. Um, so... It, it, you, they they fell into darkness and you guys separated for this very fact for some of you okay so take this message how it resonates um but i'm seeing that for this love reading generally speaking someone is going through their shit someone is is getting their shit together remember what i said something is assembling Okay, someone is 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 getting getting themselves together here. Okay. Let me get into the cards to get into some specifics because for some of you, and this is where you need to use your discernment. For some of you, I feel like this is a this is a new person that you haven't met yet. And I feel like you need to be honest with yourself about a connection that you may be in separated and, and you're waiting on a person. Okay, I feel like because you're you're all about the seven of cups. You're all about the options, the unconsidered options. Okay, I feel like if this person, because it's going to be different for all of you. Sorry, you had the seven of, of pentacles in the reverse. For some of you, this this person... They're just going to heal. They're just going to heal. And it's like coming to the realization that your connection was, was only meant for healing, but they weren't meant to come any longer with you. So 
So I feel like there's a partner here, an unconsidered option that becomes an option, an option that you haven't taken before, or someone that you haven't met before. I don't know what what it may look like for some of you. That's gonna come in here that has their shit together, that is that's ready. That's ready. I feel like for a small portion of you, maybe, maybe. But let's see. Let's see what the cards have. You have here the Queen of Cups. Because with that Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like... It's coming out as your overall energy. It's like not wanting to put energies in this anymore. You hear the star. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Ace of Swords in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse. You have here Judgment. Justice. Page of Swords. Hold on. You have the sun and the two of cups in the reverse. And the ace of cups in the upright. Yeah. Okay, you have here the five of swords, the ten of cups, and the six of cups. Okay. Yeah, I really feel like you went through it with this person. I feel like there were a lot of head games. This person might have been like emotionally dumping on you because of the storm that they have been going through internally. Okay, some of you made a made a made a decision that was not a, a good decision for you and you went into the mental storm with them and you ended up just feeling awful because of it. You went through their mental storm or you held space for them or you waited for them here. With the uh, Queen of Cups. You waited for them. I have to be honest. And I know that this is really shitty. And I feel like. <laughs> this reading may not be. Um, what you want. <laughs> what you want to hear. You've prepared this person to love and, and it's going to be to love someone else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that's how this is coming through. But on the other perspective, they have prepared you to receive the love that you deserve from the one that's aligned to you and that's why ace of cups is here with the queen of cups and that's why this honesty in the first part of the reading is so important because some of you may have lied to yourself about this connection it's interesting when I did the first portion of the reading the two of cups came up in the upright and this one it came up in the reverse because we're asking very specifically about this connection and they're saying it's not it's not the right partner but there is a partner here for you that you're going to be connected with that you're going to receive love from someone who's assembled someone who is ready someone that has got their shit together this person you went into their mental storm you went into their mental storm you probably felt a lot of shit that you're just like, well, I need some repayment. I need some judgment. I need some justice from it. Is this person going to give it to me? No. But the universe will. Here with the sun. Okay, you're going to get another. You're going to get someone else. Okay, you, you, you're going to get someone else. This person's going to go on to love someone else. And you're going to go on to receive love and, and love someone else. Is what I'm seeing here. I 
remember what I said, like this connection felt very fun at first. It was flirty. It was, there was a lot of chemistry. Um, and then it started to get stormy and, and, and clouded. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords in the reverse. The chemistry started to deplete. The truth started to unravel. The illusions or maybe you were in a cloud of confusion here with the storm and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This person doesn't, is it's not a relationship here with the Hierophant in the reverse. You're going to see the truth here with the Page of Swords of, of, of what this connection really means here with the judgment and the justice. Okay, you're going to learn. Some of you fear repeating lessons with lovers, and I'm seeing here that you're not going to repeat lessons with lovers because your Ten of Cups and your Six of Cups is here. A soulmate that turns to this um, long-term ten of cups this home this this bliss this joy this happiness here with the sun i feel something is concluding here with judgment with injustice because i feel like judgment and justice together are conclusion of lessons and you also had here that world in your um in the first half of the reading a conclusion of lessons okay Because judgment is like a final judgment. Final is it's the finality. Okay, so this is the finality of repeated lessons. Maybe even karmic relationships for some of you. Depending on what, what where you are on your journey. But the, the energy that's coming through with this Gemini group is like th there's, there's no more karmic lessons. When it comes to relationships. What karmic relationships? This is the final one here with judgment and justice and the sun. And you are getting this, rec you're getting this knowledge of it here with the page of swords. That this one is not it. And that's okay because there's someone new here that you're going to be receiving. Okay, you're going to see the truths. You're going to see the truths and the truths are, are going to set you free. Okay, the truths are going to set you free. They're going to unbind you, okay, unbound, unbound. For, for some of you, that door that you were watching, you were watching this person, this person wasn't changing. This person isn't changing, they're not changing. You want a relationship now, you are ready now, so you're going to receive someone who's ready now. This person may be ready later. And when they're ready later, they're going to align themselves to someone who is ready at that point and connect and, and be in a relationship with them. I don't see this person ready in, in, the, in the way that you're ready now. This is what I have. This is the reading that I have for you, Gemini. It's, um, it's an interesting one. And it, 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 it shifts a lot. Your energy shifts a lot. I feel like because um, I don't know if it has something to do with these eclipses that we just that we just had, um, and the truths that are coming out. You've moved into a new energy, and now you're recognizing a, a very specific energy that's not with you. And so it sticks out like a thor like a sore thumb, excuse me, and you're deciding right now what to do with it. Is it you? Or is it something outside of you? So this is what I have, Gemini. I love you guys so very much. I hope that this helps. I hope that no one is mad at me. <laughs> Please don't shoot the messenger. Um you know, it's all love and, and I hope that um, this helped in a way that you needed it now. Thank you so much, Gemini, and I will catch you guys next time.